to Brexit and the Sunday Telegraph where David Davis has been writing. Um, after It's been a very big week for Brexit, of course. We shouldn't lose sight so of that. Monday, Tuesday were really big days. So I know we're going to be talking, I hope, to David Davis later. Um, this is a very upbeat piece by David Davis, essentially saying we're three quarters of the way folk, there, folks. We've kind of got over the main hurdles in the negotiation and now we can look forward to the sunlit uplands of Brexit. Um, of course he would say that. I think there's a, a lot to go. I think Brexiteers are still extremely nervous about the detail of this and in particular on the transition and this feeling that actually nothing's going to change well, during the transition. Uh, William Rees-Mogg, right, uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, I beg your pardon, <laughs> Jacob Rees-Mogg, <laughs> get my Rees-Moggs right, writing in the Express says that um, there's a real possibility that the transition becomes the permanent state. And if that was true, it would be as big a national humiliation as uh, Sue is. Well, lovely flowery language there. I mean, I think that absolutely goes to the heart of what Brexit supporting MPs fear. And I'm sure many of the 17.4 million people who voted for Brexit mm. fear that the transition isn't really a transition. It's just an extension. An extension might be extended and extended and extended yeah. until it just becomes a continuation of the status okay. quo. Downing Street would hit back very hard on that. They will say, we are on our way out and people are going to notice a difference. All right, we have to keep moving.